Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins we're hunting through. Looking for commemoratives, ones with more than face value, but ideally new ones for the book. We need three Commonwealth games, Northern Ireland, Wales or Scotland would be an exciting new coin to find. Otherwise, we're pretty much done. Um, we still need uh, the coins after the Great Fire London, so 2021, 2022 Britannia, 2023 new flowery design, if it goes into circulation, which we don't know, but uh, then just uh, definitive, so it's just the commemoratives we really need to fill the book, so uh, we'll get into the bag. Of course, there's a link in the description to the books that I use on Amazon, it's an affiliate link, so I do get a bit of kickback if you make a purchase, so um, just so you're aware. Anyway, get into the bags. Right then, bag number one. I'll show you what it is we're looking for. That's the technologies design, the definitive, the non-commemorative design used on two pound coins up until 2015. Uh, some are lower minted years than others, just not low enough. I think that they're worth keeping. Our first commemorative is the Act of Union. Check for the rotation error. That one doesn't have it. Of course, I will check through all the coins for rotation errors, edge inscription errors, um, double die issues, things like that before the end of the video. Brunel's Achievements, the Archers at Paddington Station. That's another fairly common coin. Not worth writing home about, unfortunately. What is exciting, though, uh, I'm going back to the Royal Mint to get the next, or oh, the latest, the current Strike Your Own. Um, I can't remember what I went down last, but I'm going on the 28th of this month, 28th of April, which is a... Wow! What a find! So that is the Olympic Rio Handover. That's an amazing coin to find in. The three Olympics definitely are. The Olympic Rio, especially because it was the last coin I needed to film my very first book that I completed as a video series. So being able to take that off is very, very cool. Real star find that one. But yes, the 28th of April. We're in April, right? Yeah. Uh, that is when I'm going to the Royal Mint. I'm on the 130 tour. So if you're around, you want to come and say hi. If you haven't got the current strike your own yet, Feel free to come along and say hi. I am assuming it's not going to change before then. Um, it's the, currently the Stegosaurus. It's the second of the three dinosaurs. Um, but yeah, Stegosaurus currently, hopefully will still be that by the 28th. If not, I might have to make a very, very swift trip down to get this one and then go again on the 28th in order to get the third one, which we, what we assume is going to be the Diplodocus. Um, it does make sense having had two of them consecutive as the Strike Your Own to then move on to the Diplodocus. I think there'll be some very upset people if they end up just doing two of the three Dinosaur 50Ps. Um, they did do that in 2020, but uh, for reasons beyond the Royal Mint's control, I'm sure many of you will recall, it feels like ancient history now. It's bizarre uh, how we were all in lockdowns um, in 2020, for parts of 2020, so... The plan was to have, I guess, to have all three dinosaurs, but it only ended up being the two of them. Right, that's Jodie Clark's fifth and final portrait of the Queen. We know that'll be something. It is Shakespeare's History, one of three Shakespeare £2 coins you can find in your change. Um, this is the more common of the three, but check the edge inscription, the hollow crown. So that is correct. I check all the 2016 edge inscriptions on video purely because... Um, 2016 seems to have been a bad year for the Royal Mint putting edge inscriptions on their coins so uh, I will like I said I will check through the, all the coins for any edge inscription errors uh, at the end of the video I will just pause and you will, you will instantly see the results and I'll sit here for 10-15 minutes whizzing through looking to see if there's anything more exciting to be had out of the coins we've already gone through there's the gunpowder plot Guy Fawkes again very common coin you'll find plenty of those in your change as you will with this one Charles Dickens very nice design though. Despite being very common. It's quite nice though. If it's a common coin, it's, it's a nice design as well. Another Shakespeare Histories with the hollow crown as the edge inscription, so that's cool. cool. But it's good, it's looking forward to going to the Romans. It's always an amazing day. I have been I think it's like my 31st trip since 2018, obviously. Um, because for those that haven't been, as part of the tour you get to strike your own coin on one of the minting machines. Uh, there's Trinity House. Again, very common. Um, and there's Brunel's portrait. So that's both the Brunel coins found, achievements and the portrait. So you get to strike your own coin and the design that's on the coin, you don't get to pick it. Um, I think some people have, has, have missed. Wow, what a find. I've actually got something to prattle on about and I keep being interrupted by amazing coins. I don't mind that. 
This is the Navy Centenary. Um, there is the flag error, which uh, you can see the little jutty out bits there. They're nice and clean and clear. Uh, there's little lumps of metal that shouldn't be there uh, on the flag error. Now, also check the portrait of the Queen. This is a 2015 coin, so we moved from having Ian Rang Broadley's fourth portrait to having Jodie Clark's fifth portrait of the Queen. But this coin in sets, which was released for collectors to buy, featured Ian Rank Broadley's fourth portrait on the obverse, and some of them were taken and put into the tills on board the HMS Belfast Museum. Um, so there, there are limited numbers that uh, might have made their way out into our loose chains, so always worth checking, just in case you've got one of the variants of the coin that didn't make it into circulation. Anywho, so yeah, you can go down, you can strike a coin, the design that's available changes periodically, um, there's not a sort of a set amount of time that a coin is a strike your own for uh, that's publicly available. They don't tend to give us much warning that it's going to change. Um, but I've been down and got every strike your own, including the strike on the days since Frankenstein in October of 2018. It's a long time ago now. VE Day Anniversary, St. Paul's Cathedral. That's the most common commemorative £2 coin out in circulation. But as I said, I've been going down regularly since 2018. Oh my goodness, that is, that is a bizarre thing to say, thinking how long ago that now is. Ooh, Shakespeare's Tragedies. This is the middle of the road, not the rarest, not the most common, but it is the one we have found an edge inscription error on before. So check. What a piece of work is a man. So that's all fine, unfortunately. No edge inscription found. Oh, no edge inscription error found. That would be quite fun. Just, as I was saying, I've been down so many times to the Royal Mint experience, I still find it extremely fun, even though <laughs> some of the tour guides who have been there uh, as long as I have been going down and recognise me say, do you, do, you, do you really want to go on the tour? It's not really boring for you? I was like, no, it's, it really isn't. It, it's fascinating every time. There's always something new that you glean from the tour, whether it is as simple as just seeing what has been minted on the uh, in the coin press room for circulation. Oh. Greenhouse achievements again or it's something silly like for many many uh, years I've been going down they've been they've talked about how different countries like their coins to be uh, packaged although maybe not for much longer because it seems that the Royal Mint isn't going to be making coins for foreign countries for much longer um, but uh, yeah a lot of time they were talking about I can't remember what country it was that, that, that like their coins being put into oil drums um, and uh, a, a couple of a couple of trips ago, I got to see the the fabled oil drums being used, which is quite cool. And another Charles Dickens there. So yeah, that's not I mean, it's not the most earth-shattering earth thing, but it was always referenced in all the tours I was going on, uh, and I finally got to see them, which is kind of neat. Right, Charles Dickens again. But it's also great to see some of my friends who come along. I know that Grossy is tagging along as well. Um, there's uh, regular viewers that come along, other people who make videos tend to come along from time to time. Um, ooh, abolition of the slave trade there, very nice. But no, more than happy as well if, if viewers come along, take pictures, sign coins, whatever it is, uh, have a chat. Uh, that, that's always a lot of fun. It's bizarre that, to think that there are people... Ooh! Jersey! 1998. I'm very bad with the years. What, what are the desirable years on these coins? It's a stunning coin though, isn't it? Really pretty design. So, that'll go on the bottom row for sure. Um, but no, it's, it's kind of weird that, obviously, there are people who, who, who like you, are sat there watching the videos, um, know who I am, and <laughs> watch me on a regular basis, and then I get to meet you for the first time, and it's kind of bizarre. Um, that uh, I've had a conversation with people who have said that they feel like they know me and I have I wouldn't even know the, the, that person from the next person on the street but uh, it, it's great fun to be able to talk to people about their collections what they've been finding what they are buying what they collect so I always look forward to these mint trips and we're trying to give a bit of advance notice that that's the date I'm going to be there if you wanted to tag along and come say hi to you Right, Golden Guinea again. Not again. This is the one that's over face value again, but uh, we've not had Golden Guinea today. Whoops, where are you going? Oh, Florence Nightingale. Again, not one we've had today. It's a lovely design, this one. I really like the Florence Nightingale £2 coin, but it is very, very common. Oh, we haven't done an edge hunt. My goodness, okay, we've got four bags left. So let's have a look. 
We can do this with two pound coins because they're the last circulating coins with an edge inscription which is unique to the design. If it says standing on the shoulders of giants we know that'll be a technology's definitive coin. It's an Isaac Newton quote but this one here says something. What does it say? Oh turn. Something will turn up will be Charles Dickens. There we go. Um, any more for any more? Oh second from bottom. What does that say? Oh, it's uh, Latin, so this will be the um, Britannia. There we go. My shiny became the definitive design, the standard design on our two pound coins in 2015. 2016 is the year this one's dated, so not the rarest of the circulating years, but still a nice find for sure. We're always happy to see one of those. I'm amazed at how few 2015 Britannias I've found throughout completing this book. Right. A few more bags to go. You never know. We've, we've had a lot of luck to be fair, but that Commonwealth Games could be lurking in one of these last three bags. Ooh, where are you going? Right, did that have a rotation error or am I just... Nope. Certainly not. If one of those turn up, my goodness, I'd be very excited to get my hands on one. Penultimate bag then. I think I did see something at the bottom of this bag, so we will have something before the end of this bag, but... Oh, another Shakespeare's tragedies. Come on, edge inscription error. What a piece of work as a man. That's all right. It's still a smidge over face value because it's a popular set. That's the one I spied. Uh, Brunel's achievements. Archers at Paddington Station. Which brings us on to the last bag of the hunt. Can you believe it? We have rattled through these coins. We've got some very nice finds, to be fair, though. There's a Trinity House to start the last bag off. Which we, oh, we have had today. Doesn't add variety. As usual, there are links in the description of this video across to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come and join that. There are also links to my other social media channels, the PO Box address if you want to write in to me, and a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel, the company I work for as my day job, so please check them out too. I'll just whiz through all these coins now and see if there's any errors that I've missed throughout the hunt. Well, unfortunately, no exciting errors to be found in amongst all of those coins, but we certainly made up for it in terms of the amazing coins that we found in today's hunts. Three very nice star finds, but as ever, I'd love to know in the comments what your favourite coin from today's video has been. It's always interesting seeing which coins you guys are liking. Um, all it leads me to do now, though, is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.